Uh, there'll be Volko for out, and it and is. It's a great shot, and Jota is down. Crunching a little left there from Puello. And John felt that one. He's getting the standing count now from Hector, a few from Panama. The champion. <laughs> have been here in the UAE and it all comes down to this 12 three minute rounds Chris McCarty indeed history in the making Tom Ucker it is of course the first world title fight in Dubai we have China's first ever world champion as well there is the bell the signal the first round of this world WBC straw weight matchup and it's instantly it's Coelho that's looking to get on the attack first and a great left to kick things off. So does the title holder Zong in the red shorts uh, with the black gloves. Uh, he is taking on the contender. Uh, he is the man they call the excitement. We'll be looking forward to being excited. Uh, he's wearing the silver shorts and the blue gloves this evening. He's in with the first telling bow. It was a left, it just crunching little left that got through Zhang's defence there, but superb stuff from the Chinaman. And as I say, two contrasting styles from these two men, two contrasting entries as well. Coelho was the one with the big grin on his face. Zhang looked to have his game face on, so these two men, one fighting off the orthodox, of course, the Chinese man, and of course it's the southpaw from Coelho. So interesting matchup of different styles for Different styles, uh, but certainly nothing different about the support from the crowd. Uh, there'll be Volko for out, and it and is. It's a great shot, and Zhang is down. Crunching a little left there from Coelho. And Jean felt that one. He's getting the standing count now from Hector, a few from Panama. The champion rocked in that first round. He looks down. Tension, and Coelho straight back on the attack with that left. Incredible. Superb stuff. It is McQuello who's certainly come out with the more intent early on in this round. He said that he's here to win the belt. He's going in the right way, right way about it. Indeed, and he's looking for that massive left of his. Of course, he is the southpaw fighting out of the Philippines. And Jean, we did mention he was coming out with his game face on, but he looks nervous in that ring. He's not really throwing anything. It suggests that he's in this fight so far. It is all Coelho, a crunching left at not Zong to the ground and another one there my goodness this is superb stuff the referee asks to keep it above the belt it is a traffic just coming in there saying just you know, keep those punches up a little because it's obviously a ploy isn't it Chris McCarty early going to the body indeed it is he clearly is him and his trainers have clearly been working on there the feel of course we must remember as well Zhong is giving away three inches in height as well as that three inch three and a half in actual fact inches in reach so Quello is the aggressor in these opening stages. Jean just taking his time, finding his way into this matchup. But superb stuff from the Filipino so far. Well, final 30 seconds of the first round. Already we've seen uh, the explosive power uh, of the man from the Philippines. A gritty boxer. He is indeed. And as we say, we look at his record. You know, he has a 23 knockout in his career so he is a bit of a knockout specialist of course the interesting thing as well is Zong he has lost four times in his career but importantly never at this weight so that is very and there he comes the first time we're seeing Zong on the attack there but great defense the Filipino so light on his feet and that's a great first round for him and the smile from Coelho says it all he's clearly revels these conditions he's reveling the front stage He's obviously a man that doesn't shun from the limelight. He said earlier on the week, it's going to be an easy fight for me. Uh, he said that uh, he was uh, too strong for the uh, title holder. This is a belt that Quello believes is rightfully his. Indeed, and Zong, of course, just won that belt back in November. Of course, this is the first fight in his defence of the WBC Strawweight Championship. And as I say, he does look a tad nervous to me, Tom. Of course, a lot of expectation, a lot of pressure. 200 million, we believe, tuning in from his native China for this fight. And in that initial one, just a little bit of tension in his legs, perhaps. And certainly looking at Coelho in his corner, he's pumped up plenty of energy there. He really does look excited for this fight, and he really is up for it. As he came into the ring, uh, his... Uh, Men in his corner, the men in the ring corner have got the next printed on him, alluding to another of his next names, the next Manny Pacquiao. Well, so far in that first round, I must say Manny Pacquiao, of course, the great champion, the eight-weight champion that he is, but Coelho so far living up to the billing, and again he's the aggressor. 
that left of his, he really is superb stuff. It's all coming out again. He's caught that right hand, of course, the orthodox fighter. John spoke in the build up to this about his stamina. He's been training at altitude uh, back in China. He believes that he's got the legs and the stamina to go 12. He's going to need it. He will indeed. Need it. It's a rag to riches story for Zong as well, of course, just less than 12 months ago, a minor in his native China. Just a great step up, and now here he is in the. He's going to have to dig deep here, Chris McCarty. Absolutely superb stuff from both men again. Toe to toe in the centre of the ring. The atmosphere here is absolutely superb. They're being treated to a boxing feast this evening, Tom. And the referee just stepping in there again. So leading with that. And he catches a nice little left there on. Of course, the challenger, Denver Coelho from the Philippines. He's waited three years for this. A lot of wrestling there. Denver Coelho crashes to the ground. The referee not having any of it, of course, and as I'm just alluding to there, Tom, Denver Quillo, three years in the making, he's been waiting patiently for this chance, he has been the number one mandatory challenger for that period of time, he's waited his time and he clearly feels that tonight is his time to grasp it. I understand that one of the reasons for the next Manny Pacquiao moniker are his looks, the resemblance there? A, a tad, yes, and you must say as well, looking at the way he bounces around the room as well, you can see the similarities there, of course, Manny Pacquiao, the great champion that he, he is. There was talk of him as well coming to Dubai for a fight. Freddie Roach, who I spoke to himself, said that he would love to take Manny Pacquiao out here. That has been shelved for the moment, but my goodness, we're being treated to something from Denver Coelho right now. Back to the action, uh, we spoke about his explosive power, those 21 uh, KOs to his name already, and we've already been witness to a few of those punches, but you can't give up on the man with the belt in his possession, that's why he's there. And he is, and he's just coming into this fight now, Zong, it was a great little right, just caught, and again, a lovely left that just caught Coelho there, rocked him a little. Listen to the crowd, that is the Chinese faithful going large. Got and a low there from Coelho, he's like the referee quite rightly asking Coelho to just pick those punches up, that caught Zong a little low there, but Zong again pushes Coelho not happy there, claiming of an elbow. So, yeah. and, and Coelho is uh, looking to go to the referee here, but uh, the man from Panama is having nothing of it as well. He's going to both of the men. He finishes up with a little word for the little bear. Uh, the man from China. China's first ever professional boxer. No pressure. He's just a ball of muscle out there. You can understand why they call him the little bear. He's absolutely in peak condition. As you rightly pointed out, Tom, he's been training Rocky style. We had the videos this past week. There is, of course, the end of the second round. Superb stuff for both men. And I was just alluding to there, we had the videos in the week, the YouTube videos of, of Zhong in training, the Rocky <laughs> style as well. Sylvester Stallone would be very proud of the, the work that he was putting in, and he certainly looks to have paid because he is in absolute peak condition. Uh, as he is the little bear, and he came back strongly in that second round. Uh, the referee goes over to the Chinese corner, just wants to have a quick word. Let's have a little look at these, some of these punches, see where they landed. Nothing really in that, bit of a tangle, bit of a, bit of a, a fall on the floor, bit of a brawl. Yeah, a bit of a brawl, exactly that. But as I say, a great defence there from Zong, though. It's again, Coelho looking for that big left, but just ducked out of it there. And of course, both men crashing to the ground. But this is certainly living up to its billing. As I say, Tom, the first world title fight in Dubai history in the making tonight. And so far, we've had a feast of boxing action. And I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled by it and I'm excited by it also. Well, I'm glad you're alongside me at the moment. Weight of expectation on this uh, young man from China's shoulder. Well, we touched upon it earlier. 200 million of his native Chinamen tuning in for this fight. And you can understand that he was nervous in that first round, but he's slowly finding his way into this fight now. But a great shot, and Coelho again out the blocks quick. Two men trading blows. What's so fascinating about this is the different styles, the different personalities of these two, uh, Chris and myself. Uh, we're witness to uh, Zhang's preparation earlier, just complete focus. Complete focus, you're right, and it was the same at the weigh-in as well, of course. He's much of a humble character, where Coelho, the trash-talking, the typical, th typical things you maybe would associate with boxers. He was coming out with the great lines for, for us journalists here, but certainly Zong, a very respectful character. He knows, as I say, his humble beginnings, he knows that he's a very lucky man to be here. And it's absolutely superb, and both men giving a great account of themselves. Earlier on the week, Denver Coelho, the man in the blue gloves, the contender uh, for this strawweight title, was saying that uh, this was going to be the toughest test of his career to date. Well, oh, he's come up a tough shot. one. 
great shot there, great right from Zong, just caught Coelho, Coelho lifted his arms to almost to say that it didn't catch me, it didn't hurt me, but certainly a great shot and the judges would have noticed that. The shouldering arms here, the man from the Philippines, Denver Coelho with that height advantage, albeit slender, and a reach advantage as well, could come to play later on in the fight. Indeed, and he is trying to use it, but he's working quite close, and the closer these two men get together, the more it, it, it suits Zong's game, because as I say, he is the shorter man, he has the smaller reach, so both with uh, international experience, both have beaten Mexican fighters, that country that have produced so many world-class fighters down the years to get to this position for this title fight. Indeed, Javier Martinez or Resendez was the one that Zong beat last November for the WBC strawweight title. And as you rightly point out as well, Denver Coelho coming off of a victory back in April as well. So he's in good form, a great victory, 12 on the bounce it has been for Coelho. He very much is the man in form and he's showing that so far in this fight. It is the aggressor though from China here, Zhang Hu is coming forward again with that uh, left jab, left jab, 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 he's going and a all great the time. right there from Zhang and that caught Coelho, Coelho's not happy. Certainly not happy and it certainly seems that uh, the man doing the most work out there in the ring at the moment is the referee for this evening, He's Hector. not happy, he's not happy with Zhang, he believes Zhang's leading with that forehead, he's not happy as Hector Afu. Coelho not happy either, but this fight again, centre of the ring, trading blows. Coelho again with this, uh, raising the arms, a little over-exaggerated, dramatic, hunch of the shoulders if you like. Indeed, in 10 seconds remaining of this round. Zong perhaps for me has just edged it. Even with the cleaner punches and again, great work in the trenches, another great round. Coelho not happy. He believes that Zong is leading with that elbow. He's remonstrating with the referee as well. Not happy is the man from the Philippines. Referee's gone over to the judges as well. He'll have a quick word as he collects up the, uh, the scorecards. So it'll be interesting to see how those have come back as they go over to the official score out there. Let's have a little look at these, uh, this leading uh, right at the moment. See if there's anything in it, Chris. Yeah, that was a great little right as I touched upon in that round that the judges would have noticed that. Coelho was almost raised his arms to say, guys, it didn't affect me, but certainly it would have been noticed. A lovely little crunching right into a caught Coelho. And again, just looking at that replay, a little left there as well from Zong. So certainly that round for me was definitely for the champion.